Okay, this is D. Um, I just thought I would show you a new way I kind of discovered to do my wig and keep it on my head pretty secure because I've been having trouble with that. This that I'm wearing now is Candace from Godiva's Secret. Um, this I actually bought secondhand from Aaron, who like made it famous and did all kinds of really cool updos with it. So I was in love with her and I do love this wig. This is a fun, fun wig. Um, but I've got her on blended with some of my bio hair. The dark hair in front is mine, which still kind of works because she's got some dark rooting throughout. So it kind of ties it all together. But I just pulled her back in a barrette thing now. But uh, she came with no no combs and no clips inside. So once I finally figured out how to use my velour wig grip band, because I had it on upside down, and if you don't get the, the texture laying the right way in the right direction so it grips, it'll slip. So I just thought they didn't work till I figured out the right way to use it. Now I know. So... I've been using it and it's working great with this wig. I'm gonna, oh, I took out my barrette, okay. I'm gonna take off my earrings. Try not to ramble. But the cool thing about this wig is it's synthetic, it's full of permatease, but it's got so much volume. There is so much lift. I mean, if you like big hair, you want big Texas hair, you can easily get it the kind of, you know, sexy, messy look. I mean, just with your fingers. But, you know, that's too too big and floofy for you. You just simply, you know, smooth it back down and make it how you want. She brushes really nice. She's got a lot of layers. So it's really versatile. You can part her different ways. It's all permatease in there. But if you pull a little of your bio hair out in front, it covers that front line. I even pull mine out all the way down the sides to hide the ear tabs. She does have two ear tabs like right here. But I find those to kind of help make it feel secure, you know. So anyway, that's Candace. But now I'm going to ruin my whole look and take her off for you so you can see how I got her on. There's no clips or pins or anything. She's just simply setting on this velour wig grip band. And then I pulled what bio bangs I have in the front down in front of the band. So I'll lay her on my lap for right now and show you what I did back here. Remember the old, like, curved banana clips from the 80s that we wore in high school. Um, I'm going to take it out and show you. This. Banana clip. Remember those? This is about a four inch one. Um, I'm trying to find them smaller because a little bit shorter would work better. Um, it does kind of what I do is I just, I pull my hair forward that I'm going to want and then I take the rest back here and clip it with the banana clip in a low ponytail. But instead of an elastic, because those made like a big knot in the middle and then I always had this big ball in the middle of my head back there and it drove me nuts. So the banana clip is flatter and it just kind of spreads the hair out more so you don't have a big wad. Um, and then... I put the band on underneath where the banana clip goes. So I put the banana clip in first and then I wrap my band on, put it underneath the clip. And then when I slip the wig on, which maybe I can put it back on real quick and show you now that I dropped her. <laughs> okay. So you're gonna hold your wig by the back so you're holding the nape up and looking into it like a bowl. Like you're gonna just put your head right down in a bowl. So I stretch her back down underneath that banana clip 
where the band is sitting. And then I pull her forward to where I need her. Kind of line her up with my part. Now this is probably not going to look the best because usually I sprinkle a little bit of topic in there, which I did earlier, but I've been playing with it and it's probably worn out now. Um, but yeah, you just brush your hair in and blend it with her and make her as big or as sleek as you want, depending on how conservative you are. So there she is. Anyway, yeah, just the banana clip, the velour band, and then wig on. And once you get her pulled to where you want, I mean, it, it stays pretty steady there. It really does stay put. It, that banana clip catches the stretch of the wig cap in the back, gives it something to kind of hook onto so the back doesn't start sliding up. So it stays in place nice on your neck. The ear tabs stay right where I need them. My hair covers them up. And that front velour grip holds it in place. I've done some head banging. I was out dancing in this one and I didn't have any problems with it slipping or anything. So if you can deal with permatease, that is the only thing. And she does have a lot of permatease at the scalp. So you really, that's why a lot of times I don't really do a, a definite part. I just kind of brush her back and just kind of let her fall, you know, a little messy. So it, you know, unless you're a really tall person looking down on my scalp, you're really not going to notice it much. So far, everybody that's seen me wearing it thought it was my actual hair that I had highlighted. So, <clears throat> anyway, that's my tip for holding it on and using a banana clip instead of a ponytail holder. Hope it helps. Thanks. Bye.